The project is called Faith and Doubt, obviously because of the religious connotations. And what we did is fashion this old church into a new use, a home. And we wanted to play out the differences between the church hall and the church. And all the way through, we played this game of contrast, one and the other, faith and doubt. This is an extraordinary family. They came to us with a manifesto that started with a life less ordinary. I mean, how extraordinary is that? The old church is horizontal weatherboards, what was built in 1900. We wanted to contrast that with the Sunday School Hall, which is a vertical pan section colour steel. That's in black and the church is in white. We tried to keep the integrity of the house and during the process we found bits that we could refashion. When we first arrived there it was covered in pine egg, so the beautiful old sarking wasn't visible and so that was all pulled off and we've gone back to the original 1900s lining on the inside. We wanted everything to be movable. We wanted to really respect the volume that existed in the hall and the church. So the idea was that the bedrooms were all movable pods, little casters on ply boxes. And the advantage of that is you actually see the volume, but you can actually move them out to one side, push them into a corner, have a game of cricket, you know, have a party. The transition zone between was really important to us as well. We wanted that to essentially dissolve. So it's a series of translucent walls. And we also like a building to actually reflect something of its nighttime presence. And so we've got a series of lights that change color. As I get older, I think heritage becomes more important. It's easy to kind of contrast and do something radical, but our heritage tells a story of who we are and where we've come from. And it's really a trajectory as to where we're going.